So we've been in Cusco for almost a month now. We have a pretty good idea of how much things cost here. And for groceries, which we do a lot, we go to a place they call Orion, or locally actually known as an Orion. And there are several Orion stores here in Cusco. Whether you've been are here for a few days in a hostel, or here for a week, two weeks, or a month or more, you can always go to Orion. You can find uh, things like snacks, Coca-Cola, potato chips, that kind of thing, bread, all the groceries that you'd really need, probably not with the selection that you'd get in a place like in the US, but there's everything in there and you can get beer and alcohol and stuff there too. So we're gonna take you in there now and we're gonna show you some of the prices of the most common items. Sounds good to me. All right, let's go. rate is different all times to times but generally speaking three so less equals to one US dollars just to make sure that you get the right amount of dollars definitely check your currency and for example 900 milliliters is almost one liter of milk costs about four soles and the breakfast stuff all this yogurt costs about yeah, two soles ten and that's a lot of varieties here at most Orions they have bread ready made here you can get bread anywhere from half a soles to anything up to two soles 54 or something maybe cheesy but it's really really cheap we often come in and we order ciabatta bread that we make egg sandwiches out of in the morning or make a regular sandwich for lunch and ciabatta is about 0.5 soles each the only part about it is that they don't last very long so you have to kind of eat them right away. If you want cheese at Orion or basically anywhere in Cusco, you're gonna be out of luck. There's not a big supply of cheese here, but they do have things like the regular cheese slices like you get for Kraft in the US and you can get about eight slices for about five solas. One of the things that you won't find in Cusco, at least at the Orion, is a great huge selection of vegetables. They have the basics that you'll probably will want anyway, but you're not going to find this huge selections that you'll find in American or Canadian grocery stores. Except potatoes. <laughs> Except for potatoes, yeah, the potatoes everywhere. Here. So if you want any special type of potato, you can probably find it here. As you can see here, there's so many roots, vegetables that you can choose from. Potatoes, yucca, and also the purple corn. And that's roughly about 250 soles per kilogram. Carrots, two soles. Tomatoes, three soles. Onions, 270 soles. Ginger, 580 soles. Garlic, 910 soles. Bell peppers, 550 soles. Limes, 390 soles. One of the biggest surprises for me here was the price of passion fruit, which here is called granadilla, is 7.4 soles per kilogram. So in other words, it's about a $2 for two and a half pounds. I know that I have paid over $2 for one passion fruit in the US. So that was just great to see. Grapes, seven soles. Bananas, three soles. Kiwi, 670 soles. Apples starting from 490 to 790 soles. Five large tasty tomatoes for less than a dollar. It's about 87 cents right now. Spinach here is completely different than what we have in the United States. The leaves is kind of bigger and it actually lasts slightly longer than the States. So just grab whatever you need and then just put it in this plastic bag and then we get a half of weight in. And now let's have this weighed. Gracias. About 15 cents. If you're a person that likes eggs, you have a lot of choice here. Uh, we usually buy these ones. This is 15 eggs and it goes for about 6.2 soles. You can actually get them cheaper if you go and buy the big crates of eggs and you can buy them by the kilogram, which is what a lot of locals do because they eat a lot of eggs. Everybody likes cereal and Orion has a few of the cereals that you probably recognize. For example, you can get like this big of cornflakes for about 13 soles. Special K, which actually now comes with a bowl as a promo for about 18 soles. And of course you recognize some of these guys. Tony the Tiger. Tony the Tiger. So Tony the Tiger is called the Zuritas here. Zucaritas. Zucaritas, which means sugarita. Oh, is it really? Sure, pretty much. Oh, okay. Slightly more expensive, but this big, 11 soles, which is cool. But they're great. And they're great. Another one is a Peruvian brand, which is Gloria. We've seen it everywhere. It's actually about three soles cheaper, running about eight soles here. You want a coco drill? Uh... Speaking of coffee, if you don't have a coffee machine and you don't have regular ground beans, come over here. This is a brand that we found. It's called Altomayo. 
Altamayo is what you'll find in restaurants when they have instant coffee on your table for breakfast in the morning. We've tasted it and we really like it. Uh, we usually buy this big one. It is about 24 solas and it will last you about a week or so. We drink a lot of coffee. It's way better than some of the American brands like Maxwell House and the other ones. Not only that, but the American brands like Maxwell House are about 40% more expensive. If you're looking for a creamer or half and half in the US, you won't ever find it here in Peru. However, one thing that we actually find that's somewhat tolerable is this Gloria condensed milk. This guy, for example, 170 grams for 160 soles. And the normal size you can get in the States is about 380 soles. Or also has a great selection of different types of milks like soy milks, almond milks, that kind of thing. You shouldn't have a problem finding that here either. A little bit more expensive just like it is everywhere else, but they do have a pretty good selection. So there's a lot of different teas here and then my favorite is called the Valle Cusco. Seems to be a Cusco products. 25 bags runs from 180 all the way to 480 and there's so many different flavors and our favorite is the Munya tea. Definitely try this one, Munya. Sadly for all our Canadian and British friends, they don't have PG Tips, Tetley, or red rose tea. If you stay in Cusco for a while and stay in an apartment like we did, you will need some basic cooking supply. Vegetable oil, 360 soles. Sunflower oil, 850 soles. Olive oil, from 1670 to 34.5 soles. Vinegar, 280 soles. This is pretty much it for a hot sauce. It's a little disappointment. Sorry, Tabasco. Mayonnaise, 550 soles. Ketchup, 490 soles. Mustard, 130 soles. Flour, 580 to 630 soles. Salt, 120 soles. Morton salt, 760 soles. When we first got here, we were buying some of these bagged, what I call factory breads, and it just dried out really fast. But just to go through them, you can get bread anywhere from 1330 all the way down to six and four soles for loaves of bread. But we think it's better to actually buy it right from the bakery. And of course, for those of you who are getting all this bread, you might want some cold cuts. And we have stuff like uh, ham here. It's about 0.35 kilos for four soles, 10 cents. That's a lot of ham. That can make a lot of sandwiches. Mmm, bacon. <laughs> it's about 30 soles per kilogram. If you're cooking at home and really, really craving for hot dogs, for example, and we get a lot of different options here, and it runs about three to six soles each for 12. Of course, when you're talking meat, it's a little bit different because meat just comes in all different cuts. Chicken breast is about 14 soles per kilogram, all the way down to things like uh, chicken thighs, which are about 11 soles per kilogram. So it's quite a bit cheaper than what you'd find in the US and probably a little bit fresher as well. The one thing you'll notice a big difference here is that you can eat every part of the chicken right down to the feet. The feet are 720 per kilogram. Beef is sort of the same as chicken, 15 soles per kilogram, all the way up to 40 soles per kilogram, depending on the cut you want. We haven't found a lot of beef burgers, let alone veggie burgers, but one thing that we actually found is this chicken burger from Rico, and it runs about eight soles and this actually tastes pretty good. Not a huge selection of fish here, but white fish like tilapia go for about 12 soles per kilogram. And there is another one called Pescado Jurel, uh, J-U-R-E-L. One of the cheapest meals that you can possibly make on the road, of course, is pasta. You can buy a package of spaghetti sauce, which is about 390 grams for about three solas. I usually find it takes two of these and a full package of pasta, which is about 140, and that will make you a basic pasta. And of course, you can go back to the vegetables, put all the vegetables you want in, some of the meat, and make yourself a nice pasta dinner for fairly cheap. Budget traveler or students that travel you will be familiar with this and ramen noodles here actually really really cheap 110 soles and the other one is 120 soles you can get 10 cents cheaper if you like rice is a huge part of the diet here in Peru the one kilogram of rice 370 all the way to 440 and next to the rice you can find quinoa which is another important Peruvian cuisine you can find anything for quarter kilograms for seven to nine soles now we're going to the junk food section and of course you can find lace potato chips for example things like this it costs 450 per bag this flavor is a little bit different than what you used to and this one is Just on picante. The picante it sounds really really good I never had it before so there are many 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 options here for Pringles and different flavor than what we used to and it costs the same 790 soles honey mustard actually it's pretty good we had it before nature valley 12 bars for about 12 soles each chocolate wafers for about 4 13 soles chocolate chip cookies 
Six cookies for six owners. Get in there. All right. Get them there. Hey, everybody loves Oreos. Six packs of four for two soles, which is really super cheap. That's even a lot cheaper than home. Did you say there was M&M somewhere? <laughs> These are those little fun packs of M&M. I have no idea how many is in here. It's about 830 soles. And as you can see, it's alto in azúcar and alto in gras saturadas. Saturated fat and sugar. Hence the junk food. Yep. Anyway, as you can see, junk food is just as cheap here as it is at home, maybe even cheaper. Nutella, very high in sugar, very high in saturated fat, very high in palm oil, and very high in price, 26 soles. This is my biggest, biggest disappointment. Peanut butter is so expensive here. It's about 20 soles for a little tiny jar like this. For those of you who are super sophisticated and prefer to eat your chocolate out of a jar, a tub of Betty Crocker rich and creamy cake frosting will cost you about 13 soles. Coca leaves themselves are on a fad. They're pretty good coca leaves, chewing coca leaves and drinking coca a tea for altitude sickness, pretty good. But one of the things I think is a fad here is all this candy that you can buy. Still, a lot of people like it. I actually like the candy themselves, but I'm not sure how good they are for altitude sickness. Buy a bag of candy like this, which has about 24 candies in it. You can do that for about seven soles. Just a regular size of Coca-Cola costs 230 soles. One liter Coca-Cola is 430 soles. Okay, let's talk about this stuff for a bit. This is Coca-Cola Sin Azucar, which is the same as Coke Zero Sugar in the United States. When I first came to Peru, I said, I'm gonna swear off drinking Coke altogether, Coke Zero. I got here, I had one, and I was hooked because it is way better here. It actually tastes just like Coca-Cola. So if you come here, you gotta try this stuff. It's really good. Don't make fun of me. And my favorite is the Inca Cola. It's actually owned by Coca-Cola now. That costs the same like regular Coca-Cola products. Inca Cola is good, but actually Oro, is something is kind of the rip-off version of Inca Cola. It's about half the price. It's only two soles compared to 430, and it tastes exactly the same. And if you prefer something, uh, fruit juice in the morning for breakfast, anything from 390 to 430. Ladies, this is a subject we know almost nothing, well, absolutely nothing about, tampons. Always, seems like a brand I know. 450 to 580 for eight of them, actually looks like pads. Over here we have things like Kotex, which are a little cheaper at 380. If you run out of toothpaste, a brand name like Colgate, 150 mil will cost you 780 soles. A brand like Close Up, half that price. And of course you have all your soaps here as well, which for a few bars will cost you about eight to 10 soles. For shampoos, the big brands like Pantene and Head & Shoulders will run you anywhere from $13.90 all the way up to $28 for a big bottle. Probably won't need something like that because it's kind of big and you won't need it for that long. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about alcohol. In Peru, there are a few local brands, or not really necessarily local brands, but brands that you can find pretty much everywhere. One of them is Cusqueña, and Cusqueña comes in three varieties. It comes in a black or negro, golden ale, and it comes in a wheat beer. They run roughly 23 to 25 or 26 soles for a six pack. Of course, not everybody's gonna like Cusqueña, and for those of you who are used to American beer, or not necessarily American beers, but things like Corona, Stella Artois, Budweiser, they have all that here too. A six pack of Corona is going to cost you about 28 soles. A six pack of Budweiser is 25. And a six pack of Stella Artois is 28. One of the things that I have found fairly disappointing in Peru is the lack of quality craft beer, or at least it's, it's a little bit difficult to find. You do have some craft beer here in the refrigerator. It's a little bit expensive, hanging from a porter to a golden brown ale to an IPA. It's going to cost you about 11 to 12 soles for one 330 mil bottle. Keep in mind that in a restaurant, one of these small 330 mil bottles of Cusqueña will cost you about eight soles. So six for 24 is not too bad. Of course, just like at home, it's impossible to price out wine because everybody has their own taste, everybody has their own flavors that they like. It's like anywhere you can get a bottle of wine here for 100 soles all the way down to 14. One thing that I know very little about because I don't drink hard liquor very often is the price of hard liquor. I'm just gonna take you through a few of the brands that I recognize here. A bottle of wild turkey bourbon is going to be about 103 soles. Tanqueray gin, which I actually do like, is 77 soles for 750 mil. For those of you who like Tennessee whiskey, a bottle of Jack Daniels will run you 107 soles. I know very little about Pisco, but we did go to a tasting. It's also something that Peru is very famous for, and it looks like here a 750 milliliter bottle of Pisco is gonna run you about 31 or 32 soles, which isn't bad. Even cheaper if you go for a cheaper brand, 22 soles. And if you get here today, you get a free Sprite. 
I can't find any of the normal brands of vodka like Grey Goose or Absolute, but we have found a Syrah, which actually looks quite expensive. For a 750 ml bottle, it's almost 150 sola, so that's actually quite expensive. Water, two and a half liter Sun Whisk, which is actually made by Coca-Cola without gas, is 360 soles. And just a regular one liter if you just need on the go, 240 soles. Kiskenya. <laughs> One thing that they don't have here is the plastic bags, like a grocery bags, so you have to carry your own bags. In this case, we got roots, and this is definitely much environmental friendly. Well, that concludes our fake shopping at Orion. It's not really fake shopping, we actually did get we actually a few things. things. We always find this kind of vlog helpful, so hopefully this is going to be helpful yeah. for you. Yep, so if you're coming to Cusco, whether it's for a week or for a month, hopefully we've been able to give you a little bit better idea of what your groceries are going to cost. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you want to subscribe and that bell will give you notifications every time we post something new. So long from Cusco and thanks for watching. Hey, we're on our way home now, but since we're walking by a place anyway, these places are called Peliquerias and it's a place where you can go get your hair cut. We did that the other day and it was 10 soles each. Love that, yeah, Michael. That was really bad. <laughs> this is still October, but somehow they're selling Christmas bread. It's not bad. Nervous, Michael. Yeah, I always get nervous when someone has a razor. And.